everyone and welcome to Art with Miss Choate, day 17. I can't believe we're 17 days in. And what we're going to be doing today as a way of thinking about some art we've made in the past and some things we can mix together because ultimately that's what this is about. I'm teaching you little bits every day that you can then mix together. Maybe after you try this, you make something given day 10 and day 12 with day 16. You mix all these ideas together. So today we're going to be doing some action painting, which means splattering, and I know my kids love that. So we're going to be splattering that paint, and we're going to be making blobs, and we're going to turn those blobs into things. There's going to be three different things we can that I've thought of we can turn them into, but who knows? So whatever you can think of, that's what we're going to be turning them into. So let's get started. So for these action splatter animals or monsters, whatever you want to call them. I prefer you use a, a paint. The more liquidy you can make them, the better. So if you have an acrylic, that's better. And so if your paint isn't, so there we go. Now I got a nice splatter. If it's not splattering, just really dilute it with water. These don't have to be perfect. If you want to do this outside, if you have the availability to go outside, great. If you don't, just put a placemat down, maybe do it on your tile, do it with a paint that can just easily wash up. And so I rub it into the paint with a wet brush, and then I go back to my water, because I don't have a very liquidy paint around me right now. I dunk it back in so my paintbrush is full, and then I flick it. And I could go back if I want to and make this one one blob. I could go ahead and do that. So that would be one creature that I'm making. Maybe I could go leave this one as it is. I kind of like this one. So I'm going to add one more and then I'm going to show you how to do this also with a marker if you don't have any paint at home. So again, I'm putting it on my yellow, going back here, and I'm going to put him right over here. Oop. Maybe I'll, I can even try to do that one more time. And I could add that together to make a bigger shape. There we go. And you know, any kind of paint works, even if you have some like liquid inks, you could either add that into one of your guys or they could be their own. I kind of like how it's dissolving into that one. I can even move it around a little bit. Just because you're doing action painting doesn't mean that you can't influence it, meaning go back into it and change it. You can let it be kind of random, but also affect the outcome. Because ultimately you're in control, you're the artist. So if you don't have any liquid mediums, uh, my students have discovered that you can do it to um, to markers. Mine aren't doing it, but maybe try yours. Maybe they can. So, so I simply just dipped my marker now into the water and I'm flicking it on there. Now it's not making them terribly big, but again, you can just use that kind of as your guideline. Maybe you kind of connect the dots. I'll just connect those dots. Because I do kind of want these to be abstract forms. So there we go. I have two out of my red marker. And we'll do one more. Remember, always think about the colors you're using. Don't just grab random. Encourage your students to think about color. Then I'll mark this into one. So it's a good idea to think about it, like connect the dots. That way you still get a random shape. Now it's best if you can let these dry before you go back in to create them into something. Um, but if, you know, say your student or yourself is impatient, it's fine. You can do it now. So a couple of things we could do, you can start by outlining your shape in either a black pen or a marker or a pencil, or you can just go in and start adding detail. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this guy into a jellyfish. 
I'm going to add its tentacles in black. And you can have them like interacting with each other. Kind of, I like that little line there. Remember, you can feel free to add some detail, like I'm giving him some lines. He's still a little wet. I'm going to make this guy into another one. Also do like little elements around like some bubbles or these are honestly already like bubbles so maybe we go around them or maybe it's a little think bubble that he's having and you can make him talk and remember I said you can also turn them into other things instead of just jellyfish we could turn them into a worry monster so I might make this one into a Cyclops one eye maybe. Some teeth. And then maybe, you know, we could give him some little legs similar to maybe how our octopus are, a little jellyfish. Or you could also think of them as bugs. And I can outline my outside, make them into a little bug. The options are endless. So you're taking an action painting and you're turning them into little mm. figures. I hope you all had fun today making those jellyfish, worry monster, bug, whatever they turned in for, to you, for you. I hope you had fun doing it. Remember, if you comment below, tell me what you'd like to make, I will do that. Uh, somebody a few days back had wrote about a flip book. So that I think is on the agenda for tomorrow. Very exciting. And remember, please, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, comment, pass it along to people. It's still really important that we are communicating with our neighbors, people in our class, our teachers, pass this along, share it with people that you know, that you think might enjoy it. Um, because ultimately I just want everyone creating every day. I want people to use art as a form of relaxation, as a way to maybe process your day. Maybe you're thinking about a math, math lesson you learned and you're making a worry monster. Whatever it is for you, I know it helped me as a kid growing up. I know it still helps me as an adult. So please pass this along, comment, like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And just make sure everyone's making every day. Everyone's being creative. Leave a note in your window for a neighbor. Just, don't go on their property, but just like, you know, put a note in your window that maybe they can read. Anyways, I hope you had a wonderful day and please tune in with us tomorrow. All right, bye.